Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Yale number 60-7000-1224-999. This is a lever return spring, right hand reverse, uh, and is a spring that is seen in the parts manual. We have a link to that parts manual down below and it's called Cut Sheet. Blue spring, we've got four revolutions on this end and then three on the bottom end. We'll take some basic dimensional properties of the spring. Outside diameter, I'd say it's one, pardon me, 1.308 OD. The thickness where there are four coils, 0 0.378, 0 0.378. The opposite side is 0 0.29, 0 0.29. The wire diameter, 0 0.093, 0 0.093. Okay, ferrous based. Uh, the I would say that the length of the straight portion or the ear portion would be about 0 0.361 inch. 0 0.361 inch. And this video is really just to serve as visual and some dimensional evidence of the item. Let's switch to the screen view where we can take a look at that parts drawing. Okay, this is the item that we're looking at, and there's a link below this video to the parts drawing, and we will see the 60 7000. Doing a find function on the keyboard will allow us to pull up where the 67,124999 um, shows up. This is a right-hand reverse uh, trim, which makes it a blue spring, and that's shown on the next page. This is going to be part number 18, but it's not shown in the diagram. That's going to, of course, be buried down in the lever return area. but we'll give you a table of the other possible parts necessary. So be mindful, right hand reverse um, is what you're dealing with. Uh, so, um, you know, when you're on the outside, the exterior, you're on the ingress side, which means you're on the exterior or the pull side of the door. Those hinges are on the right and the door swings towards you. That's a right hand reverse. Um, that exploded drawing, then it also shows up uh, down here in handing instructions, which gives you a better view of where the spring falls in place of the uh, handing instructions uh, of the of the trim itself so that's included down there as well and you can read those instructions when you are replacing the item and both of those part numbers for right hand reverse and left hand reverse are listed there uh, the link to the manufacturers page is here and that's a handy link because it will allow you to review not only all of the Yale products that we sell but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as link to the full product catalog, which is handy. This is the page in which we use as the repository of all things encyclopedic uh, as it pertains to Yale, current, past catalogs, parts manuals, um, archival documents. If you wanted to see what Yale was manufacturing in the 19th century, we've got, uh, looks like five or five catalogs, six catalogs here that will allow you to take a look at that. Very interesting to dive into. Um, if you at all deal with uh, commercial uh, hardware, and if you are in an older city, Chicago, New York, etc., you could very, very easily stumble into old hardware. And if you're a locksmith especially, I would think that those documents would be of great value to you just from a research perspective. Let's finish up this video on camera. In conclusion, the name Yale is synonymous with uh, many things commercial hardware related, obviously lock sets, door closers, and exit devices. The name has been literally a name for 170 years at this point. It is the founder of Yale, or maybe the co-founder, I don't know if he had a partner immediately, but regardless of the initial corporate structure uh, or ownership of Yale in town, it was Linus Yale Jr. who didn't invent the modern pin tumbler cylinder because the Egyptians actually basically invented it 4,000 years ago. But Linus Yale Jr. is definitely responsible for giving us 
the modern pin tumbler uh, cylinder. A cylinder that we all likely, every one of us, interacts with on a daily basis. That patent was filed, I don't know what year, um, 1860, whatever year it was. You can easily look up Linus Yale Jr. patent. Um, but it's just amazing how 150 years later we are just still using the same fundamental platform of cylinder. And while there have been exceptional variants, derivatives, branches on that tree of the original pin tumbler cylinder, um, it's all still the same concept. You know, the key removes a blockage. You know, um, the key makes those pin tumblers create a shear line. And, you know, there have been, and, and that concept is timeless. Uh, whether it is some exotic material like an obloy disc uh, or a, a disc style lock, it's still the same concept. The key removes a blockage. Um, you know, the Egyptians figured that out 4,000 years ago. Uh, there's others, of course, I just don't remember the history and the milestones of the development of the lock, necessarily. These are sold as each. This client happened to buy 10. If you have any, he must have a lot of right-hand reverse doors on the project. Uh, if you have any questions on the Yale 60-7000-1224-999 blue right-hand reverse spring for that 7000 series exit devices for those trims mentioned in the parts drawing or cut sheet or any other Yale product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.